Ephraim fights with Jephthah. Then the people of Ephraim mobilized an army and crossed over the Jordan River to Zephon. They sent this message to Jephthah, Why didn't you call for us to help you fight against the Ammonites? We are going to burn down your house with you in it. Jephthah replied, I summoned you at the beginning of the dispute, but you refused to come. You failed to help us in our struggle against Ammon. So when I realized you weren't coming, I risked my life and went to battle without you, and the Lord gave me victory over the Ammonites. So why have you now come to fight me? The people of Ephraim responded. You men of Jilead are nothing more than fugitives from Ephraim and Manasseh. So Jephthah gathered all the men of Jilead and attacked the men of Ephraim and defeated them. Jephthah captured the shallow crossings of the Jordan River, and whenever a fugitive from Ephraim tried to go back across, the men of Jilead would challenge him. Are you a member of the tribe of Ephraim? They would ask. If the man said, no, I'm not, they would tell him to say Shibboleth. If he was from Ephraim, he would say Sibboleth, because people from Ephraim cannot pronounce the word correctly. Then they would take him and kill him at the shallow crossings of the Jordan. In all, 42,000 Ephraimites were killed at that time. Jephthah judged Israel for six years. When he died, he was buried in one of the towns of Jilead. Ibzan becomes Israel's judge. After Jephthah died, Ibzan from Bethlehem judged Israel. He had 30 sons and 30 daughters. He sent his daughters to marry men outside his clan, and he brought in thirty young women from outside his clan to marry his sons. Ibzan judged Israel for seven years. When he died, he was buried at Bethlehem. Elon becomes Israel's judge. After Ibzan died, Elon from the tribe of Zebulon judged Israel for ten years. When he died, he was buried at Ejelon in Zebulon. Abdon becomes Israel's judge. After Elon died, Abdon son of Hillel, from Pirathon, judged Israel. He had forty sons and thirty grandsons, who rode on seventy donkeys. He judged Israel for eight years. When he died, he was buried at Pirathon in Ephraim, in the hill country of the Amlekites.